Well, hello there, and welcome to today's demo. I am going to share my screen, go straight into Adobe Illustrator, and show you how to make a really cool shape using the pen tool, the rotate tool, and the shape builder tool. Let's jump right in. The first thing we're gonna do is come over to the left-hand toolbar. I'm moving my cursor over there to grab the pen tool. I'm gonna click once to select it. I'm selecting the pen tool. I'm gonna come back over here. Let me zoom in to my artboard closer so you can see what I'm doing next. And I'm gonna select a color, pick the gold. I'm gonna click once. I'm gonna start moving upwards and you can see I now have something attached to that first anchor point. I'm gonna hold down the shift key just cause I'd like that line to stay straight. Then I'm going to put click with my finger on my mouse and move over to the right hand side on my, basically on my desktop, just a little bit to try to create kind of the same curve that I have in the shape up above. I'm gonna release my finger on my mouse and I basically have the first half of my teardrop and I'm gonna close my shape by just coming back down to the bottom. And when I'm hovering in the right location, you can see there's now a small circle in the lower right, right below the icon of the pen tool. I'm gonna to click once to close my shape and there we go, we've got our teardrop. Now I wanna deselect this tool and the best way to do that is the keyboard shortcut is V like Victor. So we now have our cute little teardrop. I'm gonna click back on it because the next thing we wanna do is use the rotate tool and the keyboard shortcut for rotate is R. So I'm gonna select R just once on my keyboard. Then I'm gonna to hover towards the bottom. Let's zoom in even a little bit closer. I don't wanna put my this the rotate tool on that bottom portion of the teardrop. I actually wanna come a little bit below it I'm gonna hold the Option key on my Mac, which is the Alt key on your PC first, and then I'm gonna click once with my mouse. That brings up the Rotate Tool pop-up box, and in this angle area, I'm gonna put in 360, which is the circumference of a circle. I'm gonna use the right-hand slash key, which is below the question mark on your keyboard, and I'm gonna enter 12, because I want 12 copies, and then I'm gonna hit Copy. That gives me my first copy, and before I do anything else, I'm gonna hold the command key with one finger, that's the control key on your PC, and then I'm gonna repeatedly hit the D key for duplicate until I come all the way back to the beginning and I have my 12 copies. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you can now see this versus this. The next step is I absolutely have to deselect the rotate tool. So again, hit V like Victor on your keyboard because you always want to come back to this black arrow key in between every move that you make on Illustrator. Now, I'm going to come to the upper left-hand corner of this element and I'm going to click with my mouse once and drag across it and then take my finger off my mouse so that I've selected the entire image. And I want you to notice that you can see there are now these inside shapes similar to what we had up here that I'm going to be able to eliminate using the next tool called the Shape Builder tool. So with this entire little motif selected, I'm gonna slide over to the left again, and the Shape Builder tool is this icon. I'm gonna select it, it highlights automatically my element, and do you notice that I have a black arrow, but there's a plus sign in the lower right. I actually wanna turn that into a negative sign by holding down the Option key on my Mac, that would be the Alt key on your PC. Now I have a black arrow with a negative sign, and if I come and hover over this shape, you're gonna see that every place I hover, there's mesh. It turns into kind of mesh. I wanna eliminate the spots in between by clicking once and then I'm gonna slide over to the next one and basically I can go all the way around this shape and all I'm doing is clicking once as soon as I have the mesh portion I want to eliminate highlighted and I'm still always, always holding on to the option key or the alt key on your PC so I still have that negative sign. Now I've come all the way around I wanna deselect this tool again by hitting V like Victor on my keyboard. And now we have two shapes that are very, very similar, right? Slightly different curvature, but very similar. Now, don't forget this last part's really important. These individual shapes are not connected. They're not grouped yet. So you notice I was able to move one of them outside. You could totally do something cool with this shape, but I wanna move it back in place by doing Command or Control Z 
So now it's back where it started. I'm gonna come back up here to hold my finger down on my mouse and slide across the entire element, then come up here to the word object and scroll down to group so that this element now, if I were to click away from it and click back on it, I can move it just like this one so that it is um, gonna stay in, it's gonna stay together. It's entirely grouped. And now I could continue to create a repeating pattern with it if I want it or use it in an illustration. So there is your fun demo for today. We use the pen tool, the rotate tool, and the shape builder tool. If you'd like to join me for my live demos, I do live demos every Wednesday. Join my email list by going to anlafalletart.com and click the join button so that you'll be notified. I hope to see you next week. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.